Hello. We are now taking up quadrilaterals in understanding shapes. Uh, here in, um, uh, let me draw one quadrilateral. I hope you know about the definition of it. I will be drawing a four-sided figure where not three of the points are non-collinear. Okay. I'll name them as well, like A, oh, sorry, like this A, B, C, and D. That means the side, I'll just be kind of uh, quickly mentioning about the problem, all the features of them. The sides are A, B, B, C, C, D, and D, A. The adjacent sides are, if they are like they're having a common point, that means A, B, and B, C have a common point at B. So A, B, and B, C are adjacent sides. The diagonals, let me join the diagonals. Yeah, here in this figure, you have two diagonals. One is AC, the other being BD. That means they are the line joining the non-adjacent vertices. These are non-adjacent, that means A and C, B and D, they are non-adjacent vertices. They are formed called diagonals. Then we call angles. In this quadrilateral A, B, C, D, there are four angles. I'll just mark them and then we name them. This angle is referred to as angle A. It is D, A, B. This angle is referred or denoted as angle B, that is A, B, C. And then it is B, C, D, which is denoted as angle C. And C, D, A, that is denoted as angle D. They are the angles. Now, when we say, as we did adjacent sides, we also will be learning adjacent angles. The adjacent angles are angle A, angle B, with an angle B with angle C, angle C with angle D, and similarly angle D with angle A. They are the adjacent angles, and B and D are opposite. A and C are opposite angles as well. So I'll just quickly note down what we discussed and what are the points I just told you. What we, uh, what we learned is adjacent sides and angles. We learned about opposite sorry, angles. Opposite angles and adjacent adjacent angles we learned about diagonals we learned about vertices as well and all the sides of this given quadrilateral in this quadrilateral there are two parts the um, uh, the figure is divided into two parts. One is called the interior of the uh, quadrilateral. One is exterior of the quadrilateral. So we are also learning about interior and exterior of a quadrilateral. In this figure, the part which is enclosed by the vertices a, B, C, D is referred to as the interior. The part I'm shading, I mean this whole part, these are all the interior of the quadrilateral. And anything outside this, the one which are non-yellow, the one which I did not shade, they are referred to as the exterior quadrilateral. Now, what is the, we move on to learn about the interior angle sum property of a quadrilateral.
we'll first take up a proof which says the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees i've marked this degree as with asterisk so let us draw any four-sided figure this i'm marking or naming as the quadrilateral i'll take this as a this is b this vertex is c and this being d so we'll have to prove that a plus b plus c plus d is 360 degree let us to do so let us draw a diagonal that is i'm joining a c now now this a c d is a triangle so we write in triangle a c d let me mark this as this being angle one this is suppose angle two this i'm naming three and this being four that will help us in triangle a c d angle d plus angle one plus angle two is equal to 180 degree due to the angle sum property of a triangle angle sum property of a triangle similarly in triangle i write here in triangle a b c angle b plus angle 4 plus angle 3 is also equal to 180 degree for the same reason hmm? for the similar reason so now when we add a triangle a b c plus triangle a c d or we simply write adding both let, let me name them as suppose this being equation 1 and this being equation 2 so now if we add these two equations adding the above equations what do i get i will get angle d sorry i write it as angle d plus angle b sorry plus angle one plus angle four plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 plus 180 that means i added the lhs as well as the rhs so angle d will remain as it is angle b will be also remaining as it is so now if you look at the figure angle 1 plus angle 4 this part actually makes angle a so we'll write angle a and similarly angle 2 and angle 3 makes it angle c this is equal to 360 so angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus d is equal to 360 degrees and it is very simple now on based on a kind of similar um, you know proof we will be taking up also a question which informs about or which asks us to prove the following which i'm writing it says the sum of all the angles of a hexagon is 720 degrees. Let us first draw a hexagon. Might not be a regular one. 
looks like one two let us name them as well so i'll write it here this is a b c this is d e and f we have to prove all sum of these like a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f is equal to 720 degrees now to do so let us join a c i'm trying to divide the whole hexagon into few triangles oh i made some mistake somewhere wait a minute to divide we don't need actually four of them one this is two yeah four of them any in any ways i mean if you do the way i also i did that also kind of okay if this division is one way of dividing it the other way i did it just before this i'll show you again i just did this as well and this so thereby giving it four triangles i'm not going to write the whole of it as but as because we have done that uh, previous quadrilateral one this becomes this follows the same way of doing or same way of writing as well what you do is you name these angles we quickly discuss this this is one supposedly this is two this is suppose angle 3 and this being 4, this 5, this is 6, this being 7 or this is 8, this is 9, this is 10 as well. Either you mark them as I did or you simply take one triangle at a time. Like you write in triangle ABC the sum of the three angles that is 1 plus 2 plus angle B is equal to 180 being um, angle sum property of a triangle. Simil there, similarly you take ACD so 3 plus 4 for plus 5 that also gives us 180. Similarly in triangle ADF angle 6 plus 7 plus 8 that's also 180 and DEF that also gives us 180 like this. Now add all four of them because adding all four of them gives us the figure A, B, C, D, E, F. So, 180 plus 180 plus 180 plus 180 gives us 720 degrees. So, similarly as we did in the previous one, or mark all the equations as 1, 2, 3, 4 and when right, adding all the equations, you get the left side will give you all the angles and on the right side you will be adding 184 times. That will be 720 we will be taking up questions in next few sessions based on uh, these um, angle measurements of various quadrilaterals. Thank you.